Iran rebuilding the U.S. drone it shot down. The RQ-4 Global Hawk drone was shot down on June 20, 2019, by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. The attack sent the Global Hawk plummeting towards the waters of the Persian Gulf below, an event observed by U.S. military forces. A brand new Global Hawk costs approximately $123 million each. While Iran might learn some things about the drone's design, construction, and onboard sensors, it may not be able to build a good copy of the unmanned aircraft. Iran is piecing recovered remains of the drone together. Iranian state media has revealed images of the drone in a partially assembled configuration. Iran's government claims the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps Navy. IRGCN, recovered the drone parts from the bottom of the Persian Gulf. The IRGC is a paramilitary organization under direct control of Iran's mullahs and is responsible for Iranian military operations inside the Persian Gulf. Analysts are doubtful that the drone was recovered from the seafloor. Noting that the IRGCN doesn't maintain a deep water salvage capability, the parts on display, including parts of the fuselage and wings, likely floated after landing in the Gulf and were recovered by boat. Heavier parts, including sensors, avionics, and other items, may still be on the bottom of the ocean. Tehran has made fanciful claims about what it discovered, including codes and passwords it says it can use to disable the drones from thousands of kilometers away. While that's extremely unlikely, it points to the fact that Iran would try to learn everything it could about the downed drone. In addition, earlier, a video emerged showing Iran's corded three in Mersad air defense systems, coming out of what is reportedly an underground tunnel. Interestingly, the latest video surfaced shortly after Iran unveiled its all-new underground air base in southern Hormozgan province. The corded three, or what is also known as the seven corded air defense system, is said to resemble the Russian-made Buk M2 EK air defense missile system, as both systems have a similar layout except the Iranian system uses only three missiles, instead of the four used by the Buk M2AK. The Corded 3 is equipped with an active phased array radar, which is said to be able to detect 100 targets at once and engage four targets simultaneously and guide two missiles on each target. The system can reportedly engage targets up to a range of 105 kilometers and an altitude of up to 30 kilometers. The Corded 3 is famous for having shot down an American RQ-4 Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicle in 2019 over the Strait of Hormuz, marking the first time an Iranian mate air defense system was able to successfully shoot down a hostile target. While the Mursid missile system is meant for medium-range and medium-altitude air defense, it uses Shahan, Falcon, missiles which are reverse-engineered, domestically upgraded versions of the American MIM-23 Hawk surface-to-air missiles. According to Iranian media sources, the radar of the Morsid system is capable of detecting a target at a distance of 150 kilometers, acquiring a lock on it from 80 kilometers away, and engaging it at a maximum distance of 45 kilometers. Furthermore, Iranian media outlets claim that the radar has been designed to detect low observable threats, with a radar cross-section RCS, of around 0.5 square meters from 110 kilometers away. As stated earlier, the latest video comes shortly after Iran revealed an underground air force base in the country's southern part which goes by the name of Eagle 44. This facility is said to be a first-of-its-kind underground air force installation for Iran. 